What's up guys? I want to talk about some good products that I take okay, on a daily basis to help nourish my hair. And the first product is called Hair Skin Nails Formula from D Health Store. And uh, it's 100% vegan, the capsule. So like it doesn't have magnesium stearate, silica, or any kind of binders or anything like that. No preservatives, no fillers. It's just completely vegan. And it's just a bunch of herbs that are really, really good for your hair. So like they have MSM sulfur, um, bring garage, I don't think I pronounced it right. Um, faux tea, kelp, rose hips, go to cola, moringa seed, alfalfa, red raspberry leaf, pumpkin seed, dulse, rooibos, and cayenne pepper. And these herbs uh, will supply you with the beauty elements like biotin, zinc, um, calcium, silica. All these are really important nutrients for healthy hair, skin, and nails. And so this is a good product that um, I've been taking to help nourish, strengthen, and fortify my hair. And uh, I highly recommend that one to anybody you know that's looking to improve their hair. Now, I also take this product called uh, Best MSM. It's Opti MSM's bioavailable natural sulfur. And this helps maintain healthy connective tissue. And your hair is very rich in sulfur. And sulfur is really important for fast growing, healthy hair. And it's important for your nail growth, it's important for your skin elasticity. And so I take this. Uh, every day, and your hair, if blah, and your hair and your nails will grow really fast. Just trust me on that. So, um, sulfur is really, really good. Um, and that's these are the, like the two good products that I take, okay, to give my hair a lot of good nutrition, and what I take to help um, combat the baldness or the hair loss is these two products saw palmetto extract and stinging nettle root extract because these two products here will help to inhibit DHT dehydrotestosterone by blocking an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase now what 5-alpha reductase does is it basically is the enzyme responsible for taking your testosterone that your body produces naturally and converting it to its more potent form dehydrotestosterone. Now dehydrotestosterone does serve an important purpose in your body so you don't want to totally eliminate it but you don't want so much of it either especially those that are genetically uh, predisposed to male pattern baldness. Now if you're genetically predisposed to this condition um, the hair follicles on the top of the head are more susceptible to DHT whereas the sides of the head is immune to that. That's why when someone's losing their hair, this, they don't lose the sides, or usually they don't lose the sides um, of their hair on the side of the head. But the top of the head basically becomes all bald. And that's where the DHT attacks the hair follicles and basically suffocates them, shrinks them, so your hair isn't naturally going through its growth cycles anymore. And the hair just starts to get thinner and thinner and thinner until eventually you start getting bald spots and then it's completely bald. So what you want to do is you want to help lower, inhibit this DHT process so that there isn't so much of it um, circulating freely in your body where it would be able to attach to those hair follicles. So if you can inhibit that process a little bit, then you can definitely slow that process down. Now it's not a guarantee that you're going to reverse the condition and basically cure it, but it is a good way of slowing it down. So if you're young and you notice that you're um, facing this health challenge and it's not really a health challenge it's just something that we genetically inherit um, you know losing your hair does not mean that you're not healthy most of it's just genetics but there are ways natural ways like I've just showed that you can use to help slow that process down so you know when you're 30 you'll still have a good amount of hair on the top of your head it might be receded but at least you still have a good amount you know on your head 
And that's, you know, what I've been trying to teach people here on my YouTube channel is that, you know, there are definitely ways you can do, you can slow, you know, um, baldness and these hair loss and all this stuff down. Um, and you want to make sure you're eating a really healthy diet, you know, and that means, you know, mostly or almost exclusively plant-based because, you know, the meat today and the dairy products, dairy is closely related to DHT precursors, which will just exacerbate the problem. Um, meat has got a lot of hormones, you know, and even if it's grass-fed meat, it still has a lot of hormones, so that can create a hormonal imbalance. Um, so you just want your food to be going in and going out. You want to be absorbing your food and getting those nutrients that you need. You know, that's why I recommend people consume a lot of green smoothies, you know, because it's got a lot of good vitamins and minerals, and that's all really important for your hair, your skin, and your nails. Uh, tomato products, lycopene, was really rich in uh, vitamin A, which is important for a healthy scalp. Lycopene also inhibits 5-alpha uh, reductase, which will inhibit DHT. Basically, all these different foods, foods that are really good for your prostate, it's going to be good for your hair. So like pumpkin seeds, um, tomato products, um, green leafy vegetables, just any types of nuts like almonds. Rich are, almonds are actually very rich in beta testosterone. And beta testosterone is important for inhibiting DHT. So like even even avocado, you know, it's got a lot of phytosterols and things like that, which are really good for the prostate, which has also been shown to be good for the hair. So. There's all kinds of things you can do uh, and take natural herbs and foods that you can use to help slow that process down. So hopefully this video has been, you know, um, an encouragement to anybody out there facing this problem. And um, I personally do all these different things, and I can honestly say that it does really work. And believe me. It's much better to take things like this that are safe, they're natural, they're herbs, they're vitamins, minerals, whatever. Much safer to do this kind of stuff than to take drugs like finasteride, you know, uh, aka Propecia, and um, all these other drugs out there because they are toxic, they are poisonous to the body, they will cause a lot of side effects, and they'll cause a lot of sexual problems. So just stay away from the drugs. You don't need drugs take natural safe herbs because there's been a lot of studies showing that herbs are they work and remember guys that drugs came from herbs in the first place why not get something directly from nature that's much more potent and safe and and bio compatible with your body you know your body can recognize it can use it and you can benefit from it so stay away from the drugs take safe natural herbs and uh, never give up. Stay positive. And if you liked the video, please favorite, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.